What's up guys, back with another video. Today we are gonna be talking about CrossFit and what exercises do you need to be good at to be to succeed at CrossFit. So we're looking at the Morning Chalk Up website here. This is every CrossFit Open movement from 2011 to the present. The CrossFit Open is like workouts they release to then have people do them on their own. You film them and then you upload it, upload your scores, and then you start to get ranked so you can compete in future competitions. <clears throat> so when you look at these, it's basically labeled uh, top to bottom, what's the most common, what's not the most common. Number one at the top is called toes to bar. You hang from a pull-up bar and you raise your toes up and touch the bar. Uh, it's a gymnastics movement. It is you don't doesn't require a lot of strength. It has a little bit more of the technique and endurance because usually when they do these, it's like 40 reps, 50 reps, 60 reps. It's like a lot of them. Number two would be double unders. That is jump rope. So you jump and you do two times underneath <clears throat> thrusters. Most likely you see these with uh, dumbbells. Chest bar, another uh, gymnastics movement. Wall ball, something done with uh, an exercise like physio ball. Uh, and now, one, two, three, four, five reps in, we get to our first thing that could be done with a barbell, but really this is usually done, you see these with kettlebell deadlifts more often. <coughs> um, so, gymnastics on the floor, on the floor, gymnastics kind of its own thing so the top five don't involve a barbell that's kind of telling the bottom five the, the, the six out of ten deadlifts burpee barbell snatch ring muscle up row for time on a row machine so when you think about okay if I want to be good at CrossFit I need to be good at the most common things I need to be good at deadlifting for high repetitions, which if you want to think the, uh, some of the, I, I, want to, I want to say the Granite Games, where they were doing kettlebell deadlifts, the guys were holding like 90 pounders, right? So that's 180 pounds for like 50 reps. So is it good to have a really high one rep max deadlift? Probably, because then that repetition that they're doing at that lighter weight is gonna seem a lot easier, right? If your one rep max is 200 pounds <coughs> and you're doing 180 pound deadlifts well it's it's going to tear you up so getting your one rep max deadlift up is definitely important burpees body weight exercise if you're in shape you can do them if you have the range of motion you're fine barbell snatch is uh olympic lift it's one of the it's the only one on the top 10 here that is an olympic lift um probably should devote a lot of time to the barbell snatch um same kind of idea with the deadlift. You want to build your one rep max up high enough to where when you're doing repetitions of the lower weights, it's a lot easier because it's a lower percentage of your one rep max. Ring muscle ups, uh, kind of difficult. You really want to get those up and then rowing. So these are the top 10 things that if you want to be good at CrossFit, you need to train these things and uh, get really good at. So stay tuned for more CrossFit content. Thanks for watching.